Hi everyone, welcome to Python Web Shopping. I'm Asad Ali, and today in this video, I'll tell you how you can run your Python Playwright script on your Google Play app. So, if you are running the same Playwright script on your uh, MacBook or in your Windows computer, as well as I'm tested on all these three platforms, script runs fine and everything just works fine. But uh, when I tried to run the same script on Google Play app, I ran into some issues. So, while solving them, and when I saw those uh, issues, I decided to make a video about it, and I thought maybe I should share that with you. So, let's start. All right, now uh, what you need to do is just create a new uh, Colab notebook and uh, you will see similar uh, page like this one, okay? So first thing we are going to do is we are going to install Playwright in our computer. The good thing about Playwright is that you don't need to do so many things that you do when you are uh, running Selenium. Uh, there are some pros and cons, but uh, I, what I like about it is that it is simple to set up and it's simple to get started. Anyways, uh, all right, so uh, first of all, let's install using pip. Just type pip, first mention back show to, let me just zoom in a little. All right, now let's uh, type this uh, sign of exclamation and now go like pip install play, right. And hit enter. And uh, remember that's going to take few minutes sometimes or a little bit of time because um, it's going to install everything for you so don't worry just uh, wait until it it's complete all right it's done uh, the next step is to install that now uh, let's install playwright let's remove this one all right Playwright install. Okay, when you type Playwright install, it's going to download Chromium for you and uh, it will do pretty much everything for you. At the end, you just need to use that and uh, you don't need to down download like Selenium, you don't need to, you know, download Chrom uh, Chromium, uh, Chrome driver and uh, Chrome browser in your computer and anything. Just uh, type Playwright install and it's going to do everything for you. All right, now let's create a new cell here and uh, let me create another one. First, uh, let's, uh, let me just add one more row here so that you can remember what I really did. Okay, it was pip install playwright, okay? All right, now that we have our playwright installed, uh, let's try to use it and, uh, okay. First, uh, if you're familiar with the uh, async functions, which is good, that is good. If you are not familiar with async functions, make sure that you um, uh, you make yourself familiar with that. Just watch, read some blogs and uh, watch some videos about what these functions are and how these functions work. It's important because uh, there are two ways to run uh, Playwright. One is as sync function and sync API and one, second is async API, okay? So in this case, we are going to use async API because uh, one thing that I'm going to tell you in a minute and you will see for yourself. Okay, let's uh, import from playwright dot and that's going to give you two options like uh, sync or sync. Just type sync import async playwright. All right, now that we have our uh, library, let's uh, try to create something. Uh, so what I was talking about is that, uh, remember that in Colab, each cell is basically an async uh, process, okay? So it's already async process is running, so you cannot run a sync process inside an async process, okay? So, and you cannot also run another async inside an async. So, so it's, it's a little bit tricky if you are not familiar with these terms, but uh, let me just uh, create a function and show you. All right, so let's create a async function first. Run process. And inside of that, I'm going to create a context manager, to, uh, get, you know, run async uh, playwright in a context manager, okay? So to do that, let's uh, type async and uh, with async, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, async underscore playwright that I am bothered about as P. All right, now let's uh, try to create a browser equals to 
a dot chromium dot nuts and uh, now make sure that you have uh, address equals to false sorry address equals to true because we uh, this is basically a Linux based environment so make sure that you set it to true or I think it's by default true as well so don't worry about it uh, now let's create a context equals to browser dot new context and uh, now I'm going to create a page page equals to context dot new all right now let's uh, go to the page any page that you like let's go to page dot go to and inside of this let's try, uh, type a URL in my case let's uh, HTTPS um, data guru dot cc slash blog and now I'm going to type uh, I'm going to simply close the page so uh, remember that because it is async function make sure to await okay and uh, I'd like to print as well so let's print uh, page dot content all right uh, I think we are all good and uh, typically when we are trying to run uh, async function we use async uh, library okay so to do that let's import async library as okay uh, all right, now I'm going to use this library and type and try to run this process. All right, uh, just a minute, I think I didn't go it. Okay, so this is something I was talking about in the intro of this video that uh, whenever you will try to run as the same code in your terminal of your Windows computer or if you are trying to run the same code in your MacBook or Linux, it's going to run, run exactly as you expect and it's going to run fine. But if you try to run this here, it's going to raise an error. When I asked, uh, you know, the BART, BART which is an AI tool of Google, why it's happening, it says that uh, because uh, each cell is basically a async uh, process okay and uh, whenever we try to run uh, uh, the cell it creates a new event loop so because of that we cannot use when we are trying to do this async dot run it creates a new event loop and try to run this process function async function inside of there so the in python we cannot create um, you know loop inside of, loop, of another loop so this is why we are getting this error uh, async dot run cannot be called from a running event loop so in this collab basically this cell is an active running loop so inside of that active running loop i cannot do this so to fix that problem there are other uh, you know solution that um, i mean you can add an event or you can uh, uh, you know create just simply run this but uh, I'll tell you how you can solve this quickly instead of running creating this because we already have a async function basically this is already an event loop so instead of creating another loop let's use the existing loop and run the code so to do that in simple words just remove this one and uh, push it back so you will see a lot of these red lines but uh, don't worry about this anyways uh, okay now click on this play button and it's going to all right, object is now the chromium. Okay, beg your pardon. I think I made a for here. Okay, one more thing is uh, all right. I forgot to add a weight here as well. So, okay, I think now we are good to go. All right, what's happening is that it's creating a new browser context page. Now go to this page. Now, as you can see, that this is the complete HTML of the data guru box. Page. So this is how you basically run the uh, playwright in your Google Colab, and uh, I'll also this add this code in my uh, blog as well. So you can go to just go to dataguru.cc/blog/ slash um, you know how to run Selenium in your sorry playwright in your uh, Google Colab, and you'll find this code as well as the step by step uh, how you can run this code. 
So I hope that you like this video and uh, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit a like button and uh, also have a good day. Thanks for watching.